<laughs> we don't high five anymore. Oh, okay. We elbow bump. <laughs> Get over here. Okay. Hey. Good morning. This is uh, what day? Are, what day is it? The tenth. Uh, no, I think it's April tenth. It's the tenth. Oh. Yeah. And we're coming up on. Um, no, this is not yours. Okay, what are you guys doing? I'm just kidding. No, yeah. Just, <gasps> Miguel. Okay, we're doing this in one take. Miguel. Turn yeah. your phone Amateur on. hour. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. So, shelter in place, still in effect here in California. And uh, we've been talking about doing this for a while. And now we're doing it. And I have a helper. His name is Miguel. He is age 13. And he really likes all the attention on him. No. All right. Say hi. Hi. Okay. Miguel has been around the videos for quite a while. I think we have one back in like 2015 of him helping his dad with some aluminum foil um, campfire vegetables. Basically, anything you put in here is just going to add to the flavor. Can I help? Good job. Okay. You really gotta settle it in. You gotta tuck it. You gotta tuck it a little bit. Today we're gonna to be taking three different camp stoves. So we'll have a Coleman, old fashioned suitcase style uh, Coleman double burner. We'll have a scottle, and then we're gonna have a, something called a fire safe, and it's a fire safe by Wolf and Grizzly that has a, a grill on top of it. So we're gonna cook steak three different ways on these three different sources of fire, right? Yeah. What's your favorite? A uh, stove, but we don't have a stove. Wait, speak up, we got the Coleman one. Um, Coleman. Okay. I can't wait to use the fire safe, and then the scottle is a scottle. Everyone loves a scottle. Okay, so Miguel is going to start things off before your school starts. In 28 minutes, he has to report to a Zoom classroom. So he's going to start by showing us a rub that he has been testing and trying out here at home. And so I'm gonna let him start it off. All right, so first you're gonna want some Paprika, it doesn't really matter if it's this brand or not. It can be any paprika. Any paprika. Um, you want some pepper, uh, you want some salt, and garlic powder, if you like garlic. Garlic powder, I just like garlic powder personally. Um, and any like uh, rosemary or any other additional spices that it's you like might want to add. Herbs. Yeah, herbs. Okay. First, you're gonna wanna take your salt and take about um, a good amount, like a, a bowl like this and then fill it up to about here. This is very exact. Oh, sorry, I'm lucky. That's about a good amount. Can I then, see Yeah, then you'll want to... Okay, so we've covered the bottom of this of this uh, ramekin with salt. Then you're gonna wanna take your pepper and go over the top. So you can still see the salt, but it's pretty much covered. All right, okay. I like a little extra pepper. And if you like more pepper, then you can put more pepper okay, on Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. And then you're gonna wanna take your garlic. Wait, is that garlic powder or garlic salt? Garlic salt. Woo! Dodge the bullet, that would have been. I mean, I like my savory. All right, you're gonna want. <laughs> you're gonna want her. You're gonna <laughs> want garlic powder. <laughs> so you take your garlic powder and you do the same. You just kind of fill it up so you can see the pepper, but not too much. Okay. And then you're gonna want to take your paprika and drizzle over the top. Like I said, mm -hmm. just so you can see it. Okay. And that should do it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one last thing. Oh, and the, um, your herbs. You wanna take your herbs. 
This is rosemary, it looks like, with a little bit of chili flake in it. Yeah, and then oh, you're gonna don't, want- Oh, wait, don't use your fingers. I'm not, I was gonna- Hold on. Then you're gonna wanna toss it back and forth. Well, no, you can get a spoon. Like this. Oh my god. You're gonna fling it everywhere. Here you go. This is how I've always done it. Corey, you're missing me. What are you talking about? Oh, Corey's doing it incorrectly. You're supposed <gasps> to flip it back and forth like this. Um, Let's see? What do I know? All right, <laughs> then you're gonna wanna okay, take, nice. after you've got your rub done, we'll put that to the side for now. You're gonna wanna take your meat and take your slab of meat. Slab. <laughs> and put it just on, and then you're gonna wanna take about a pinch and now put you, it on the top. You've been, I'll make sure you get salt. Yeah, no, I did. Oh. And then, you're gonna wanna take another pinch, put it on the top. Then you can flip do you, it. Do you guys know how many times I hear, yeah, I know, every day? Then you're gonna take a pinch, put it on top. Are you gonna, pinch, you're gonna pack it in put a little it on bit? Top. Yeah, and then you just okay. kinda rub it on. Okay. Just kinda pick up all the excess, put it off to the side, and then repeat for the two other slabs of meat. Then you can cut it. You can cut oh, it. Oh, we're not cutting this. Well, you gotta cut it. No, now that you've said that, we're definitely not cutting it. You have to cut it. <laughs> Cause then we'll just like. I don't know. It's good. It smells good. You have to cut it, Corey. Okay. Well, we'll you definitely cut it. it. You have to cut it. Okay. That's good for that one. No, maybe. Oh, there we go. It's good. Uh, shout out to uh, Tectonic Coffee. Uh, Deaton and Chelsea, they have a, this coffee company down in LA. They've created, uh, they make amazing blends of coffee. They're really fantastic. Right now, they're selling everything at wholesale price for anybody. This is just a shout out to you guys for always having the best beans. We'll have a link in the profile. Go ahead and wash your hands. Okay, so we have the, the rub that you have come up with. That is on the steaks. So now you're gonna hop online to go to your classes. Yep. And then by the time you're done, these steaks will have rested with the rub and then we'll transition to grilling and cooking outside. What do you think about that? Yeah. Think so? Yeah. Okay. All right. Here. This is how we this is how we are at camp too. Station um, one, station two. This is it's all highly orchestrated. Jeez. It's all highly orchestrated. <laughs> hey Dave, do I need to get out the mountain house? Are we doing mountain house? You have Cheeto all over your face. <laughs> okay, so we're outside now. Our, the steaks have been prepared. Miguel put the rub on them. They've been setting for about four hours now, which is awesome. Yeah. We're going to start with the... Coleman. Yes. Here we go. Hi. Okay, so this is our Coleman dual stove. Um, Michael, you've had this since I've known you. It's been like Where... the 60s. This is my dad's. This is your dad's? Yeah. Literally, okay. This I is think your so. dad. Okay. 1970s. Okay. All right, Miguel, let's crack it open and start to. Well, the first thing we're going to talk about about this stove is just the robustness and the dual burners. So while it is bulky and has a bit of weight, you can get a lot done in one piece of equipment. Would you agree with that? Yeah. All right, why don't you crack it open? All right. Okay. Oh, wow. What is this? You got Michael Mergia.
We did it. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna be using our new GSI fry pan. This will be used for the steak. Miguel, you're in charge of that. So what I like about this G uh, GSI set, Miguel, did you break it already? No. Okay. Yeah, uh, is that the surface of the pot is the same as that frying pan. So what I can do is I can saute vegetables inside this, this pot. Um, this can expand out to three liters. I'm gonna keep it right here and uh, just kind of saute some vegetables before we get the steak going. Okay. With any, <clears throat> with any burner, you wanna be very aware of the temperature. They will, for the most part, have a tendency to burn hot. So what I typically do is get it up and running, get something in the pot to see how fast or how slow it's cooking and then adjust from there. You can kind of eyeball it. Um, also, you can do it by ear because you can hear like right at the moment where the gas like is gonna stop feeding the flame. You can like hear it sometimes. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just getting the vegetables cooked up. I'm letting, I put the tomatoes in whole so that the skin would burst around it and then unleash all of the tomato-y goodness after the fact. Now I'm just gonna put this on as low as possible and then we'll put the steak on. You ready for that? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get our steak on. Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm going I'll to get, get my timer. Salt. All right, so you're gonna want to, after about two minutes on each side, you're gonna want to uh, do one minute on each side, and after that, you're gonna wanna feel it, and feel if it's really squishy, like how it was when you first got it, or if it's a little bit more firm. If it's firm, then it's probably about medium rare, and that's what I personally like. If you like yours rare or uh, overdone, then uh, that's what you'll go with. That was your timer. Uh, and now we're gonna flip. Taste test number one. For the... Coleman dual Star. burner. That was Michael's father's. Oh, you. Oh, get out of here. What? Get out of here with this. Oh, I'm a liar. What? You. Ew, Dad. my God. Okay, but you need a judge. Oh, you yeah. need the final judge. Okay. Whose dish is better, mine or Corey's? This uh, is not a competition. It uh, is. This even, is not Top Chef Overland edition. I do not even have to taste to answer that question. The answer is automatic. Who's? Corey's. Ah. <laughs> I spilled water on myself. Okay, next up is the? Steak. No. The Scottle. <laughs> okay. So we've been using Scottles since 2015. Um, Jerry at Tembo Tusk has created an awesome, awesome piece of equipment here. Uh, the biggest pro to this is the volume of food it can cook and the many varieties of, a variety of ways to, uh, to prepare the food. 
And it, and you can stand on any side. Oh, of it. that's right. That's right. I mean, it's obvious. I'm stating the obvious, right? But you can. But with the Coleman, you can only stand on one side of it. Here, you can have four or five people around. It's a very social cooking method. Okay. Oh, Are we ready? That's funny because you can't be social. Okay. Let's uh, let's fire it up. Thanks Shall for bringing we? the mood down, Miguel. Yes, Miguel. Thanks a lot. The one great thing, well, there are many great things, but one of the great things about the Scottle is the temperature variation across the disc. So in the center, obviously it is going to burn the hottest, thanks to the burner being directly underneath it. The burner, by the way, is just a single, a single burner that screws onto a Coleman propane canister, so it hangs underneath. I'm sure there's plenty of B-roll footage of it. The heat's concentrated right here, so as you finish, for instance, we're starting with the veggies, once I get these to a certain amount of done, then I'm gonna move them to the side and then cook the steak. And from there, we'll have our side dish keeping warm while the main course is heating up. So we're gonna move these veggies. We're just gonna move them to the side. And what'll happen is they'll just stay nice and warm and toasty on the outer edges. Even the tomatoes aren't sliding down too much. And then we are ready for steak, hey. sir. Yeah, where's our timer? Hey Siri, set a timer for a minute and 45 seconds. Siri goes camping. <laughs> Now, can we move things in the house just to keep me on, the, on my toes? What do you want? The knife sharpeners. Oh, they did get moved because they're too big. They're right here, though. They're right above the drawer. Did you guys hear that? The answer was yes. The answer was yes. Every once in a while, we just have to move things. To keep they're right here. Moving. How ahead. was your control? How, like, what gave you more control? The Scottle or the Coleman? Coleman gave me more control. Really? Copy that. Huh. Let's see what you got. Ooh, Ooh snap. Test, 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 Looks test. Good. Okay. Now, the last piece of equipment we're going to use today is from a company called Wolf and Grizzly. This is the Fire Safe and the M1 grill. Sir. Oh, oh my gosh. We first got to see this product in summer of 2018. A gentleman by the name of George founded Wolf and Grizzly. And I think what they're doing is really awesome. And I'm gonna show you why. This is the Fire Safe. Now we've used this a couple times so far. You tell him, Jon Snow, you tell him. Boom. That is awesome. Here's why it's awesome. The way this has been designed is to work with the wind so that I can get a low level of charcoal and flame. And the, just, you'll see, it's windy right now. It's not gonna kick up a bunch of ash. It's gonna be self-contained. It's off the ground. If you're in a place where you need to be treading lightly, especially around fire and ash, this is an awesome solution. The M1 grill was designed to fit right on top. So this expands just so. So I'll use the top, I'll use this middle one. So what we're gonna do is we're going to get 
some flames happening here. No propane, no burners, just old school fire. Then we'll put the grill on top of it. We have right here just some, uh, Miguel prepped some potatoes, some fingerling potatoes cut in half with uh, tomatoes and we have it packed in there. So we're gonna set that on top of the grill, on top of the fire. Let that cook for a while and then we will move on to finish the meat. Now, the thing about this that I like the most is it forces you to slow down. You open your chair, you have your beverage of choice, and you uh, allow your meal to take a little bit of time. Okay, so I've already turned it. We're gonna take a look and see how it is. Do you have your B-roll camera? Oh, I do. Okay, get all, look at, you guys, if you could, like, I wish you could smell this. Those are so ready. I'm slicing right through it. I think I'm, these are good. Okay, I'm gonna move this off Potatoes the over a campfire out there in the wilderness of the best potatoes you'll ever have. That's true. I'm gonna bring the grill, and all you do is simply pick it up and put it over the fire safe. The dimensions match perfectly. So Miguel, let's go. See? See? All right, I'm gonna do this. Oh, it looks yummy. That looks amazing. That's warm. It's That's really warm. That's really nice. That was Hi. that was a long day. You did that a lot of cooking. Very Day. That was super long. Miguel so, got tired after the rub. Uh, <laughs> so I've been reminded several times that my ideas for videos are ambitious. This is a three day video we this did in a day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we, we went awesome. through the Coleman dual burner, we went through the Scottle, we went through the fire safe with a uh, fire safe with the M1 grill and one of the things you know that Michael has mentioned, he's talked about several times, is <clears throat> there isn't anything in this area right here that is disposable or flimsy. These will last a lifetime. They're not gonna go in a landfill. Each of them will last forever. So it was fun busting this out again. Mm -hmm. um, with the Scottle, the Scottle does have that social element. It heats up fast, it cleans up fast. Stand on any side. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there's a whole bunch of different meals you can create from breakfast burritos to steak fajitas or chicken fajitas. Like it is a very versatile piece of gear for something so simple. And then with the fire safe and the M1 grill, I've appreciated the lessons this piece has taught me on time, on slowing down, on preparation. Um, just while we were getting the charcoals going, in the time it took between us lighting it and then letting them heat up and do their thing, both kids came out and were sitting with me reading a book. He was yeah. on his computer, that's fine. But <laughs> Checking his phone. But he wanted to be here, <laughs> right? Yeah, you, we're all hanging out, which yeah. is great. And, yeah. and that actually, the, the pro tip for this is to have enough um, coals. If, if, have okay. enough coals the first time out because it, it actually didn't take that long to cook the potatoes. It was like 25 minutes or something 30, like that. Yeah, it was 30 minutes quick. for the potatoes mm -hmm. and then, you know, the steaks don't take long. So it, it wasn't that long. Yeah. It was pretty cool. So you can, bring, you can bring your own starter and then supplement with what's around you. I know we did that up in the Sierras. Yeah. Oh, okay. So one piece of the puzzle. We have two of these items in the Overland Bound store. We have the Overland Bound edition of the Scottle. We have it in it's this got black size. Legs. It does have black legs and a black 
black bag with a cool patch. Thanks, Jerry at Timbo Thank Tusk you, Jerry. for making black legs for us. <laughs> we've, a, had to, I, we've had the thing since like 2016. Anyways, it's been great. so we have it in the large size and then the smaller adventure scottle size. And then we've just brought these onto the store as well. We really love, I specifically love Wolf and Grizzly. I love what they're doing. Uh, their design, their innovation. I'm a huge fan. So you can check these out. Whew. All right, I think, I think that's it. Is that it? Okay. This day started at 7 a.m.? It did not. It started, filming at 7 a.m. It started, it started at earlier. 7.30. Okay, filming at 7.30. It started earlier. Okay. It's been a good day. I Ooh. got to be cameraman. And that was fun. Totally fun. I don't fun. know. What else are we going to do in our shelter in place? We're putting a tent up in the backyard. That's what else we're going to do. Yep. All right. All right. I think we're cool. good. Bring we up fire tonight. Week. Maybe do some s'mores. Yeah. You guys. Hi, bud. Thank you for hanging out with the family today. I hope uh, you learned a, a little something. I hope it was useful if it was. Um, of course, we like your subscribes. And yes. if you really like what we're doing, consider becoming an Overland Bound member. We yeah. are 25,000 members worldwide. Everybody wants to help you get out, explore, Ooh, find a connection a with steak. nature. That's kind of what we're all about. For now, we're hanging out online over on the forums. Maybe we'll see you over there. All right, all right. guys, thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll see you on the trail soon it's enough. A long for day. now, we're planning. That was a long day. This is a long day. You want to get pizza for dinner tonight? Pizza!